Hey guys! Today I thought I would kind of give you a roundup of all of the fragrances that I wore in the month of September. In September, where I live in Maine, it is typically fairly warm still. We have some days that are mid 70s to mid 80s and then we also have some days that are in the low 60s. So my fragrance choices are a little all over the place just to accommodate the crazy mood swings that the weather has. I have seven fragrances to show you. None of them are really like warm weather summer fragrances. I I tend to get over that really quickly. I'm really excited about those scents in April and May, and then by August I am so over it and I'm ready for my warm and cozy scents. So these scents are more everyday, any weather, with a little bit of fall coziness sprinkled in. The first one I'm gonna show you is from Cartier. This is Beiser Volet Essence de Parfum, and this is lily and vanilla. So the lily I think is perfect for spring and summer and the vanilla kind of helps me get into the mood for fall vanilla scents. This is one of the scents that I wear all the time in the spring but when the weather starts to cool down in that transition period between summer and fall I think this scent is really great for that time period as well. This lily is an entire lily crushed up and then soaked in vanilla extract. It's very simple, but incredible. It's really a one-of-a-kind fragrance. I've never smelled anything like this. And I don't know, it just kind of works whenever. It's not really like a daytime or a nighttime perfume. I think it's great for the office as well as a date night. And the longevity is okay. It's really nothing spectacular, but it just smells so good while it lasts. Um, I highly recommend for anyone who is looking for a Lily perfume, this one is amazing. While we're on the subject of vanilla, one of my favorite vanilla fragrances is from Erin. This is Erin Lauder's fragrance line. She is Estee Lauder's granddaughter. And she has an entire line of fragrances. Tangier Vanille is one of my absolute favorites from the line. It's vanilla and it's a fairly simple vanilla. It isn't boring. It isn't really vanilla extract either. There's there's more to it. It's more interesting than that. But one of the reasons that I love this so much is because this is incredible for layering. I know some people have issues with the Erin Lauder line because of their longevity. And I do have that issue with certain fragrances from her line, but Tangier Vanille is not one of those for me. I get decent longevity out of it. It's not, you know, the kind of fragrance that'll last you days, but it does the job. And especially when you layer it, I think it lasts even longer. I use this when I really want to add vanilla or when I want to sweeten something up or if I want to make something a little bit deeper. You truly cannot go wrong. As long as you like vanilla or love vanilla, this fragrance I think amps up any other fragrance that you're wearing this with. One of my newer acquisitions is from Dolce & Gabbana. This is the only one and I wore this a ton in September. It was really great in the heat and I think it will do really well in the cold weather as well. This to me smells like maple syrup, <laughs> but the more I wear it, the more the coffee comes through and it's really just caramel, vanilla, and coffee. I've heard people call this black opium without patchouli and I have to agree. I think that um, if you want to love black opium but you don't like patchouli, I think this is a really great option. Um, the longevity is okay. The sillage is great. I I don't know. This isn't... I thought I would love this a lot more than I do. I thought this would really like blow me away and it's just sort of... it's good but it isn't like oh my god I love this but it is absolutely the perfect fragrance for days when you're just like I don't know what I'm gonna wear and you just grab it and throw it on. Giorgio Armani C is in my opinion, a staple fall fragrance. This is just 
so perfect for fall. It is sweet and spicy. There's patchouli in this and it is a very sweet, sugary, syrupy patchouli. Um, my biggest complaint with this fragrance is that it does not last a very long time on me, but I have gotten better longevity spraying on freshly moisturized skin and just spraying on my clothes instead of on my skin. I think that this fragrance it's literally when I smell it, I just smell fall. I just smell like apple picking and carving pumpkins and wearing sweaters and drinking pumpkin spice lattes. That's literally, I. it's just such a staple for me. I think this fragrance is another one of those fragrances that goes to any event. It works any time of day. I think it's really great on dates. It's kind of sexy. I think it would still work great in the office. It isn't like overly sexy. Um, yeah, so I, I'm really, I think, one of the only people that has longevity issues with this. So I would give it a shot. You might not have that same problem. And the sillage is good. People can still smell me. Uh, I'm not choking anyone out, but you know, it's there. I'm realizing here that the theme of September for me is dumb reaches. I need fragrances that I just don't even have to think about in September because I really think it's because I never know what the weather is going to be like. Uh, and so this is one of my favorite dumb reaches. Um, I don't think this was in my dumb reach video because at the time it wasn't a dumb reach for me. It absolutely is now. This is Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming and I absolutely love this fragrance. This is such a compliment getter for me. It is sweet fruity, thick, really sweet. It's amazing. Um, typically the Miss Dior line is a little too polished and like perfect for my personal taste. I feel very similar to the Miss Dior line that the same way that I do about Chanel fragrances, which they just aren't me. Um, they smell really great and I can enjoy them on other people, but on me, mm, I kind of feel like an imposter, but Absolutely Blooming is like if Dior let me make a Miss Dior perfume. <laughs> uh, I feel like this is what I would have made. It is, I mean, it still smells very put together, but it's not polished at all. This is not like, this person does not have like perfectly coiffed hair. I mean, she might not even be wearing makeup. I don't know what I'm saying. I just feel like this is the kind of fragrance that I can feel like myself in. The longevity is amazing. The sillage is amazing. I I can't say enough great things about this fragrance. I think it works any time of day, any weather. I highly recommend if you like Miss Dior but you don't feel like they're really you, try the Absolutely Blooming because you might find that like I did that this is for you. This next fragrance was recommended to me by a friend and I am so glad she mentioned it to me. She totally knows my taste. This is Guerlain's Mon Guerlain Floral and I cannot get enough of this fragrance. I love this. I think in the summertime it's just too much. It is too heavy and too sweet, but in colder weather it is uh, incredible. It's amazing. I love wearing this I wore this in the spring. I love wearing this in cooler temperatures. This makes me feel so put together and still a little sexy. It's not like, it's not in your face sexy. It's just like that girl has her shit together kind of sexy. <laughs> it's very similar to Mon Guerlain. It's just sweeter. I'm not really sure why they called it floral because in my opinion, it doesn't smell any more floral than Mon Guerlain. It's just sweeter and like thicker and a little bit juicier. I find Mon Guerlain can be very dry smelling uh, and this just isn't. Oh, it's so good. It's really round. I, <laughs> I don't know what that, what I mean by that. It just smells very round and um, enveloping. It's so delicious. The longevity is great. Sillage is amazing. I know I've said that about all these fragrances, but this is why I wear these fragrances because they've got great longevity in sillage. 
Um, and if you've tried Mon Guerlain and you weren't really a huge fan, you wanted something that was a little bit sweeter, or maybe you found Mon Guerlain just a little too masculine, the Floral Flanker is 100% going to fix that problem for you. I was honestly debating whether or not to include this fragrance because I feel like I've probably overdone it at this point, but I just couldn't leave it out. I wanted to be honest about the fragrances that I wore in September. So I'm gonna put it in and I hope you'll forgive me for it. But it, of course, is Ely Saab, Girl of Now. <laughs> I took a little break from Ely Saab, or from Girl of Now, I should say. I didn't even really take a break. I just wasn't wearing it as much over the summer. Um, I was trying to use my more fruity, like full on summer scents because they get so little wear throughout the year. I never reach for my summer scents in the fall, winter, or spring. So I tried to put this on the shelf and not wear it as much, but September came and I was back on the Girl of Now train, full steam ahead, because I still absolutely adore this fragrance. This is me in a bottle. I love it. I can't get enough of it. Oh, oh I just love it. <laughs> Um, I, yeah, I just wear this all the time. I layer it with other fragrances. Um, what can I say that I haven't already said a million times? I know I'm probably boring the heck out of you, but I'm sorry. I'm just trying to be forthright and upfront with you about how much I love this fragrance. Um, I've already been through a full bottle. I... I'm sure I will go through another full bottle, but I've been trying to calm down a little bit because I have so many other great fragrances to wear. One of the reasons that I layer is because I have so many great fragrances to wear. Uh, but if you don't know about my obsession with Girl of Now, the longevity for me is incredible. The sillage is great. I get a million compliments on this when I wear this. It is just the perfect, sweet, fluffy, delicious almond pistachio orange blossom. I can't get enough and the bottle's adorable. <laughs> Those are all the fragrances that I wore in the month of September. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this style of video, let me know. I can continue to make these every month if you find these enjoyable. And let me know if you'd like a video on layering. Layering is something that I see a lot of people doing, but I don't know that a lot of people talk about how they decide what they're going to layer with what. Um, and I think that might be a fun video, so let me know what you think about that. Um, and I would love to hear the scents that you wore in the month of September. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.